Welcome back to Newman Haas Racing for the original PlayStation and the 1998 Kart Mini Series. Six rounds in, and what a moment. We are a full race win clear of Michael Andretti in the Newman Haas. This may be Newman Haas's game, but it could be Penske's year as Andrew Ribeiro is just starting to slip clear of his closest rivals. In the meantime, Christian Vittipaldi has recovered from a slow start to be just one point behind his teammate. I can envisage them tripping over each other. In fact, from Andretti downwards, there's quite a few drivers who could be involved in a tussle. Could we just slip clear? Maybe? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Four rounds to go. And welcome to round seven of the championship on the Gold Coast of Australia, Surface Paradise Street Circuit. To me, this is always a season opener in my head because I watched a VHS when I was younger of Nigel Mansell's 93 season. This is his, the place of his first ever IndyCar race, and he only went and won it as well. What a season he had. So, Surface Paradise hosted the Gold Coast Indy 300 from 1991 until 2007. From 91 until 97, it was a season opener, or at least towards the start of the year. However, we are in the 1998 season, and this was the first year it switched, and from that point on, it became a later season race, more often than not, as it was this year, the penultimate race of the season. Latterly, this race featured in the Champ Car series. However, when Champ Car and Indy Racing League finally merged together again, they couldn't agree a deal. So that's when Indy stopped coming here. Before I get started, just want to give a quick shout out to Keithy P, who uh, subscribed and discovered the channel through this series and has gone on to binge through my other F1 playthrough. So really appreciate your support. And then he also reminded me of something which gave me great amusement when I was younger and I would like to share it with you now. A little visual feature of this game. So I'm just gonna to come to a stop on the, uh, on the near the main straight. We're gonna to go to, I think it's options, display options. The, the game's frozen. A few moments later. I found it, it is the Wibbly Aerial. We've turned it on. Let's go back. Uh, oh. Whoa, no, 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 no. On. Where's the Wibbly Aerial? Oh, that's annoying. It's very fun. The Wibbly Aerial literally just, it just literally does that in front of you the whole time. Doesn't matter what speed you're going, what direction you're going, just constantly just does that. Why you'd want it on. I do, it literally adds nothing, it's a distraction, more than anything. Found it very funny when I was younger, playing this game, I was like, oh! Which is probably why I never completed this game, because I was very easily distracted. But, I'm annoyed, I've turned my Wibbly Aerial on. Keep, stay tuned for Wibbly Aerial content, it's going to be great. So, Surface Paradise, 98, qualifying. Pole was taken by Dario Franchitti. I mean, he seemed pretty good in qualifying. He seems to crop up a lot when we're talking about the previous results. The other name that does crop up, for obvious reasons, because he was the eventual champion, was Alex Zanardi, who was in second. Christian Fittipaldi, third. It was another rough day for the Penske's, as I've said before. It was not a great year for them. The great Alonso Jr., 19th, and his teammate, Andre Ribeiro, us, well, 22nd. We've kind of been one lap specialists over this uh, over the course of this season. We're kind of the Yano Truly of IndyCar, if that is such a thing. Pole position is going to be the target. We've only failed to get pole once, although that was on a street circuit. It was on Long Beach, so maybe, maybe that's our weakness. Maybe we'll struggle here. There are some very fiddly sections here. Um, the little sort of back and forth chicanes um, could trip us up. And just a quick update, there is still no Wibbly Aerial. And I'm, I don't know why, to be honest. I'm not sure why. Disappointing, is what I'll say. Mm. Oh, God, Lord Christ, no. Yeah, there's going to be some policing of track limits, which you think, well, on a street circuit, how? Well, I'll show you how. I've already done it once. Nice left-hander coming up here. Oh, excuse me. Lovely stuff. Yeah, we're not doing that. And then there's more opportunities up here in those fiddly... Um, left, right, chicane sections. Very awkward. Here we go. Just, ooh. Just, oh, Christ. Don't know what that, what I just tried to say then when I hit that tyre wall. It was a, a mixture between crap and Christ. Okay, let's, um, let's try again. 
because that was not good. Right, so slam on. Ooh, no! Ooh, no! Oh, for f I mean, buy me a drink first. Jesus Christ. So, situation report. I've done three laps and failed to get the first corner right on every single one of them. Let's see. Oh my god! Oh well, it was... Okay, it's the most right it's been. It's awful, but okay. Putting his foot down now. Ooh. 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 Fuck. Oh boy, that was so Ooh. severe breaking. Okay, so I kind of jumped that curb a little bit. So a questionable track limits moment. Okay, we're okay through there. That is just going to be awkward every single lap, I feel. <laughs> Definitely, this is going to be the best lap I've done so far. So let's see where it gets us. I've not really been paying attention to the time, so I'm not even sure what's going to be good or bad. We cross the line to do a one to <laughs> It's just every time it it feels like it happens every time it just catches me off guard. How is that pole position? I would just like to remind you I, I'm, I've set it superstar. The AI are on their hardest setting for this game. I feel bad about cutting that first corner a little bit now. Like jumping the curb. What can I say? One lap specialists. Andre Ribeiro and Penske. A match made in heaven in qualifying. Can we go quicker than a 120? Charging towards the line. 119.5. It's no longer contentious, guys. Done it fairly. Oh, that wasn't fairly, though. <laughs> this is definitely not going to be like Portland. I think there's much more areas where I'm going to make mistakes. I I can definitely see me losing the lead at some point. Well, another good job well done. Pole position by 1.5 seconds from Michael Andretti. Just untouchable, what can I say? Fittipaldi third, Pruitt fourth, Zanardi fifth and Herta sixth by any chance? So what happened in the 1998 Honda Indy 300? Well, the top three in qualifying were the top three in the race, but not in the same order. Alex Zanardi won from Dario Franchitti with Christian Vittipaldi holding third. Zanardi took the lead in the first round of pit stops and went on to take his 15th and final kart victory. Andre Ribeiro was 13th, so considering he started 22nd, that's actually quite a good gain but obviously still not really where you want to be especially in a Penske. For us well I mean it's hard not to kind of have the target be win when we're on pole so that will be the target. Will it be as clean as Portland? No this is going to be messier. I think we will probably lose the lead at some point because I'm just going to trip over one of those breaking points, one of those rock hard concrete triangle tire walls i could get myself into a real spot of bother here it's a familiar sight for us clear road ahead the three red lights go out and we go green in surfers paradise sorry i know that's the formula e um saying sorry jack nichols do apologize And immediately, you'll see I'll go quiet as I concentrate through those first chicanes and somehow manage to hit a part that I didn't hit at any point in practice or qualifying. And Andretti's right on the back of us. But we're okay. Good couple of corners. That opens out the gap. Straight line speed's been a weakness. Are they going to reel? Oh, doing okay for now. 
obviously if I do end up breaking track limits I will scouts on her, I'll slow down and you know give them a chance to catch up or if I take a place assuming I lose them which is a very real possibility I'll give it back this part of the track I'm not too bad with why do I even sp why speak yeah, despite the messiness nothing to see here folks he eight to go point <laughs> eight wow 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 I mean we've we've been pretty racy all the way through I mean it didn't start the best at Milwaukee but Portland onwards since coming past the halfway point oh my word we've uh, we seem to just have it on these tracks that said I see a little dot in the mirror oh oh no 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 oh it's happened oh I knew I'd do something like that pinballing we seem to be okay. Doesn't look like we've got any damage to the front wings. They look still in the same shape. He's got more breathing space now. Look at the way his speed is increasing now. Now we can see. Ooh, again. I was... so that was silly. I was just pushing the breaking point way too late there. We have picked up enough damage to get like the safety car out or the pace car as it is known and be pushed to the back so I can't just go smashing into walls willy nilly thinking it's all going to be okay admittedly the car seems to be very robust I mean <laughs> done a great job Penske this year just you know really really robust <laughs> told you told you I'd hit one of those bloody tyre triangles made out of god yeah I don't know what it is like I said I, I set the AI to the hardest that's what I always do for these playthroughs so they're on superstar but for whatever reason they just haven't pitched them high enough because on this particular track there are just certain corners where they are very slow and we seem to be holding them at arm's length even more so than Portland because the moments where Fittipaldi seemed to find some pace and catch up with us and oh ho, 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 Michael Andretti's bottle season continues he's down to third unbelievable Jeff the fact that Fittipaldi was nowhere after those first couple of races and now he's gonna overtake his teammate and he's gonna become our main rival to be fair, we're taking on both the Newman Haas boys, really. He has been consistently in that position for some time now. That lap time will be hard to beat. Oh, 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 we locked up. Locked up into turn one. Oh, and there's Fittipaldi. And we've lost the lead. Oh, no, I knew it would happen. Oh, bloody turn one. It actually hadn't been a problem as much as it was in qualifying. And Fittipaldi's off. Oh my word. Oh no, 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 no. And there's Andretti. And there's Andretti. Oh, look where you're going. Oh no. I've had to slow down. I mean, you weren't involved, sir. That's not for you. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, that's annoying. Ah, oh, that's really freaking annoying. Come on now. Let's get straight back. Straight back, straight back past you. Ooh, alongside Andretti. I don't know if we've got the job done. Oh, we've touched. I was round the outside. I left the space but I feel like he tried to take a bit more of the road. We've got second. What is the damage? Three to go. 3.3. I mean, it's been that much backwards, and he's caught us, so um, no reason we can't get him back. Come on. 
Oh. So inconsistent on this game. It's just so awkward. Oh, and Andretti's not there either. Oh, Andretti's in big trouble after our collision. Oh, this is annoying. This is annoying. I can handle making the mistake into turn one. Oh, I can't really, to be honest. I've got it down. I just locked up the wheels. It didn't turn. Okay, fine. But just because he managed to sneak by me, the fact that I then made the mistakes again to let him escape and then mess up that corner with track limits is like, well, I feel bad. I'm going to have to slow down, at least let Andretti by. Fight back. See, I feel bad Andretti's dropped back now, to be fair. But I'd left the space. I didn't cut him off. I, you know, I was going trying to go up the inside. What am I doing? My head is gone. This could be a really interesting shift in the season. Andretti's kind of been our, our main worry all the way through. Um... Since mid-Ohio, probably, he's been the main guy to worry about. But there's been no repeat winners. Andretti's won one, Zanardi's won one, Fittipaldi's won one. We're the only repeat winner. Fittipaldi's the one who's come closest. Oh! I say he's come closest. He's probably done it now. Dear me. I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like he put me in the wall then. <laughs> I was alongside him and I feel like there was space and he put me in the wall. Oh, and I'm, again, there was just a moment where the car locked up and started sliding forward. Might be a symptom of the fact that I've just been bouncing off walls like it's a flipping trampoline park. Sorry, that analogy does not make sense. I, you kind of know what I'm trying to say, but just bear with me. I'm trying to see if I can salvage this. Yeah, we can gain through these twisty sections. We might still, might just nick this back off Fittipaldi. Through here. Oh, no. Oh, that's a front wing gone. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't want to turn now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, it doesn't want to turn. Oh, and there's one, one or two corners to go. Let's just get round. Oh, well, I mean, that's humbling. Don't underestimate this game. It will bite you. And we have a new main contender. Christian Fittipaldi wins by eight seconds from Andre Ribeiro. Scott Pruitt third, Zanardi fourth, Andretti drops to fifth. A second fastest lap in the row from Ari Lewandijk, who is probably, again, he's finished outside the top ten. The man's just setting fast laps for fun. So this is what it does to the standings, and we do have a new main rival in Christian Fittipaldi. The gap is still just over a race win. It is 21 points now to Christian Fittipaldi. So we're just holding on. It's a huge loss for Andretti. In the meantime, Pruitt closes the gap to him, just four points behind. Zanardi and Moreno tied fifth. I think all things considered, both of the incidents with the Newman Haas boys were probably racing incidents, but I was probably more at fault for the Andretti one. I could have left a bit more space. And then the other one, I think, is just the, the same incident. It's just I'm on the inside and I get karmered by Fittipaldi. Oh, we're getting away with one a little bit because I feel like if it was consistently either Andretti or Fittipaldi on us, it would be much tighter. But because of their inconsistency, we're still over a race win clear. Fittipaldi becomes the only multiple race winner of the season other than us. Three rounds to go. Still holding on. I should feel good about it, but that was messy. I mean, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go have a gin and a think.